Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful collective. This reading is going to be a general reading for the collective. That means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This will be a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. For anyone who may be new, my name is Q. Welcome. I am Claire Audient. I am intuitive, and I am also an empath. Um, I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. And I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. As you can see, we already have our messages. I did a pre-shuffle before the reading just to save time. Um, the first card that you have is you have no reciprocity, only take, take, take. And the car, uh, the song that's playing right now is Gregory Porter, and it's called Insanity. So I feel like a lot of you all are coming out of a very toxic relationship. Um, there's been a lot of, of, of karmic completions, especially with this lunar eclipse. It's really wrapping up cycles, completing those karmic lessons. A lot of you have really done your due diligence to remove the negativity out of your life. Even the negative, you know, belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors, people, circumstances, situations. So with this energy, it shows that you was in a very non-reciprocal, unrequited type of um, situation, whether this was a love ship, a friendship, um, whether this was, you know, your peers, your colleagues at work, or even within your own family tree, there was a dynamic where you were the one doing all the giving, but there was not enough receiving. And so what that did was leave you emotionally bankrupt. And so I feel like you felt, um, you know, that that calling, that pull to kind of, you know, detach from such energy uh, because it was literally like parasitic um, where it was living off of you, thriving off of you. You may have had friends who would only come around when they needed things, when things were really bad. But when things were good, you wouldn't hear from them. Or you may have had family members who would borrow things from you all the time and never give it back, you know, never pay you back because they felt like, oh, well, we family, you know what I'm going through. And it was just like whenever you needed anything, when the roles were reversed, no one. This is just like crickets, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you let go. You know, you let go of these type of connections, these type of relationships, even the love ships that may have been one sided, unrequited, where you were doing all the giving, investing your time, your energy, really putting in, you know, the love, the tenderness, the care. And um, you were being dismissed. You were being treated as if you were just, you know. Um, one of many options. They weren't making enough time for you, or maybe there was a lack, um, you know, in terms of even the intimacy, lack of affection, a lack of attentiveness. So with that, you said, you know what, enough is enough. I feel like a lot of you felt like you was going insane, um, but you could have been dealing with people who were suffering from, <clears throat> you know, excuse me, my throat is getting blocked up, so I definitely feel there was a lack of communication also. And, um, I feel like you, you know, may have not expressed your true feelings and emotions. You may have been rather quiet uh, because I feel like a lot of you took um, took those things like internally. You were really kind of going over things internally. So you may have taken like, you know, a break emotionally from a lot of people because you felt like you was going insane. You felt like things were um, literally crumbling around with you. But I feel... You eventually made the right decision, the right call to walk away uh, because you realized that self-love makes you more attractive. And in that moment, you needed to love yourself because when you're dealing with this type of energy, there's a lack of love. There's no love there. You know, love doesn't hurt. Love doesn't 
um, dismiss you. Love is going to be something that envelops you, you know. So I feel like with this energy, the ancestors approve. They approve you moving on from that. They approve you making the decision to leave, to walk away. Um, and not only do they approve, they're pleased with you. You know, they're pleased with the strength, with your ability to, you know, go through such a daunting time or such an emotional roller coaster ride, but still have a sense of dignity and integrity, um, self-respect, to still know your worth and value enough to walk away from what does not honor you. Um, and so as we see here, this is my world card in my deck as the world turns. So there was great epiphanies. There was grand epiphanies. You've gained a different perspective from going through this type of experience. This one-sidedness really taught you to find balance within yourself. It really made you look at yourself and say, you know what, um, in order for me to understand why I would have put up with, you know, said scenario where there's just take, 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 but no giving. Um, you had to look within yourself to see why you felt um, compelled or obligated, you know, to those type of connections and what inside of you was bruised or hurt or damaged that needed repair so that you would never attract that type of energy to you again. So I feel like your perspective has changed in regards to love because of your love for self right now. And I feel like you've gained a deeper, more a uh, profound understanding and omni-standing of yourself. And I feel like that understanding is making you um, really in, uh, you know, come into like your, your alignment. Because if you look at this card, you'll see the world, the sun, the stars, and the moon. So this is complete alignment, being in balance, you know, being in balance, mind, body, and soul. But that card, the world also speaks to all of the challenges, all of the difficulties that you have come in to, but you've overcome those challenges. So you've learned along the way how to navigate certain situations and even how to avoid um, certain circumstances as well. So I do feel like <clears throat> What a lot of you did was a lot of, um, you've done a lot of work on yourself, soul searching, healing, and this has in fact made you wiser, made you wiser, made you stronger, um, and also intolerable to the nonsense. So right now, we have um, Amel LaRose singing Brave Bird. So that's what you did, you know, um, you had to... You had to brave, um, you know, these scenarios. You had to be brave. You had to stand in your strength and in your power. And I feel like you decided to move on, to fly away from this situation because I feel like I'm hearing caged. I feel like you were a caged bird and then you freed yourself from this type of connection because it was definitely keeping you stuck and stagnant and also um, blocking out certain uh, blessings from entering into your life because this is definitely not going to um, be the type of energy that the divine is going to bliss you while you're in this type of company. So the divine, that's why the divine is saying they approve and they are pleased. So you already know that there's going to be a lot of blessings coming in, a lot of wish fulfillment. And so here, now you realize, you know, now you know who you are. You know, you're starting to tell yourself, you're having those affirmations. I am a miracle and I deserve the absolute best because you know what you give, you know you deserve to receive. You know that you give your best. You know that you give your all. You know that you're very emotionally intelligent. So now in this turning point in your life, you're going to start attracting that because that is what you are, you know, that's the energy that you are um that you are emitting, um, that's the energy that you're radiating, you're radiating this love and light, and this is also the confidence now that you have been able to um, build within yourself because you've, you've grown wiser, you know your worth and value now, and you've also, you know, you've leveled up in many degrees, you've ascended, you've evolved, so next, um, 
what you're going to start doing is you're going to start asking these very uh, critical questions. You know, these are very pertinent things that you are going to start implementing when meeting new people, when inviting new people into your inner circles. You're going to make sure that their energy sits right in your spirit. So you're going off the vibration that people are giving off, that they are emitting. You're not any longer going off words, you're no longer going off empty promises or, you know, um, any of that. You're going by what their energy speaks to your spirit. And so now you're communicating energetically um, and vibrationally. And this is what you're ultimately focused upon, putting you and your needs first and for foremost. So you're prioritizing your needs. And this is a very powerful display of self-love and self-worth something very different from dealing with this so you went from dealing with someone who was not reciprocating your gestures of love to now knowing the need the necessity of putting you and your needs first so that's exactly what you're doing right now we have the glow of love so the glow of love and this is by luther vandross so the glow of love is the love that you're radiating. So you're radiating this glow, this light. You're emitting this love, this glow of love. And so now you're drawing and attracting what you're radiating to you. So you attract what you are ultimately. And that's the beautiful energy. Now someone on the bottom of the deck is feeling left out in the cold because at the end of the day, you finally made the decision to walk away. Remember, brave bird. So you had to brave this situation, brave, you know, brave this, this daunting type of toxic connection um, so that you could come into your power. So now that you're in your power, you're now going to only focus on you know, what's going to bring you joy, peace, and happiness, and ultimately make you feel loved and make you feel appreciated and valued. So let's go ahead. We're going to, we're going to tap into in. So let's get some messages. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. There is no All right. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. We're going to pull some messages from Energy Oracle. We have this 44 on the bottom of the deck. So it says woman holding a heart. So now that's you. Look at you. Focused on self-love, self-worth, self-care. You know, this is you healing. This is you um, receiving that downloads. You see the 44s also. Um, some of y'all could be seeing 444. Four, four. It was just 12, 12 on the clock. 3-3 three, three is 6. So I feel like you're very much in harmony because a lot of you have done that internal work. Like I said, soul searching, healing at a soul level releasing what no longer serves you so let's go ahead tap and tune in so this 44 y'all may be seen 44 some of y'all could have um just turned 44 if you are scorpios or maybe you turned 44 this year whatever um a sign you may be water fire earth or air this is a collective read this is for everyone so we got two cards that just flew out so here we have archangel uriel seventh chakra Uriel so yes you listen to your intuition and your intuition was telling you that change was necessary change was inevitable because this situation was not growing whatever isn't growing is dead so you realize that you can no longer your your ancestors angels was giving you divine downloads that 41 breaks down to five so that represents change I feel like a lot of you with that five also um, deals with the throat chakra. So that's all about communicating. So I do feel like there was a lack of communicating and expressing what you needed in that relationship. And so what you had to start doing was demanding your respect. Um, and you showed people how to treat you by walking away from this connection ultimately because you trusted your intuition. You may have discovered that there was a lot uh, going on behind the scenes. Um, I feel like you were really getting a lot of downloads, a lot of inklings that something just wasn't right. There goes the train, so that's confirmation for some of you all. And that five could also be like, you know, someone feeling like they missed an opportunity, crying over spilled milk. Um, it's also very, you know, challenging arguments, fighting, um, just a lot of um, 
challenges within a connection and someone really not trusting their own intuition but listening to a lot of people so maybe someone got caught up was following um, instead of being a leader you know maybe someone you was dealing with was you know just trying to be you know cool and was just kind of following the wrong crowd doing things that they knew um, you know wasn't right and so this caused a lot of conflict within the connection with you uh, but this person gave very little to the connection so that um, definitely should have um, you know should have been the red flags that you know that you should have picked up on but I felt ultimately um, when you started to trust your intuition and the divine started to give you those little um, divine interventions downloads when you started to receive you know those transmissions from spirit I feel like that's when you decided to move on if you see this angel is holding uh, what appears to be a book so that's about learning lessons being wise growing wiser and that's why the ancestors are approved you know they approve and they're pleased because you started to do your due diligence to cut yourself free from that energy so I feel like you started to pay closer attention to people's words and actions and notice that they didn't match up mesh up and so that's when you started to say okay it's time for me to relocate away from this and move completely or disconnect completely disengage completely from that type of relationship um, right now we have tears for fears everybody wants to rule the world so this person was very controlling perhaps um, always expected but never you know gave so I feel like you know this person was definitely someone who was very manipulative very calculating I'm seeing the devil I'm seeing the magician in my mind's eye so I do feel like there was a lot of gaslighting a lot of mind fuckery and um, just manipulating whether that was emotionally psychologically but this person definitely was doing things to their benefit and not for the whole so the next card we have is appreciation so I feel like you were not appreciated within this relationship and this number 15 is showing me that you know when you started to find um, that that balance within yourself again because 15 reduces the six six is all about healing um, it's all about harmony, but it's also about self-love. Uh, the sixth chakra is the first eye. So I do feel like when you started to peep game and see exactly how this person was treating you and you started to receive those interventions, those transmissions, those downloads, and those little intuitive hits from spirit, that's when you realize that you were not being appreciated and treated at your, you know, you, you know, or valued you know you weren't pre being appreciated or treated like the divine feminine or divine masculine that you were so what you started to do was show appreciation and love to yourself you started to prioritize your needs your wants your desires and you turned your back away from anything that did not honor you in the way that you deserve to be and this is why the ancestors are approving and pleased because I feel like you humbled yourself enough to look at you to fear to realize like you know I have to work on me so when you started to use your intuition and be more discerning in those situations that's when you were able to break free from those chains that were keeping you bound and stuck and as you see here you got a lot of assistance in the process this community card speaks to having a, a spiritual team protecting you in this process if you look closely you see these orbs of light and those orbs of light always indicate spiritual presence so your ancestors assisted you um, in completing a karmic connection relationship um, and also like observing and analyzing your um, friendships relationships and love ships so we have um, brand newbie and back up off the wall so I feel like in you trusting your intuition with this number seven here that's the seventh chakra so with you trusting your intuition um, and also you know listening to your higher self I feel like that's what led you to um, not be in such a defensive mode but to be more um, in in uh, offensive like you're you're being more offensive opposed to being more defensive in this connection because now you're making the rules you're setting um, your boundaries you're setting your standards higher so you're definitely um, not in such a vulnerable state as you was because you received a lot of um, guidance spiritual guidance um, and you're also divinely protected so that's beautiful so those messages came out we got this attachment so someone was definitely keeping you stuck and stagnant it had you up in your head chained bound that's why I was picking up like a um, you know a caged bird 
um, when you are, you know, chained to something, you're literally like a slave or you're being imprisoned, you know. So I feel like, you know, a lot of the work you was doing on yourself led you to remove the mask. And that's the internal work. That's why your ancestors were pleased because you started to pay attention to the bigger picture and healed yourself at a soul level. So that's beautiful. So thank you, spirit. And so we have the thinking man. Okay. And so look at this. So someone's very envious and jealous of you. And this is why they treated you that way. This person failed to see that you, you know, were like a blessing. You know, that you were like rare. That you were. And maybe they do know that about you, which is why they're envious and jealous and hateful and carry such disdain. You know, maybe they were trying to make you believe something about yourself that was untrue. Maybe they were trying to work on your self-esteem, you know, in a negative way, impact you in a negative way to have you questioning yourself. But I feel like you this is the effect they had. This this jealous, envious type of person that's very manipulative, calculating, conniving, had you really questioning yourself your and, and ultimately had you in a lower um esteem, you know, had lack of confidence even, you know, when you were dealing with this person. And they had your back up on, you know, had your back against the wall because they always kept you in such a defensive state because they were very, you know, manipulative, you know, very manipulative, very, um, very, you know, um, calculating. You know, I was picking up on the magician energy and I see the magician is here. So there was definitely like you know, manipulation of energy, manipulating of emotions, manipulation of mind. So I do feel like when you started to realize, you know, who you were and you took your power back, you know, that's when this person started to grow even more vengeful, even more hateful. So next we have magician in the mirror. So I feel like ultimately that's what you started to pick up on. You started to realize that whenever this person came around, you know, you felt like everything was like, uh, it was like games, you know what I'm saying? You felt like they was toying with your emotions. You felt like they was literally like duping you or just gaslighting, you know, telling you things that were untrue or playing on your emotions, just very manipulative with your energy. And I feel like what you started to do differently is when this person would come around, you wouldn't be as open. And I feel like when you stopped opening yourself up to this, you grew more sensitive to how this person made you feel because you started to pay closer attention to that. So when you started to pay attention to how you felt around certain people's, um, you know, in certain people's presence, um, that's what really, really clued you in on what you needed to cut out of your life and who was actually the culprits, um, you know, in the manipulation or in this toxicity. So they were very manipulative and very um, hateful. So what we see here is with the storm watch, I feel like you're going to confront whomever, however, because you're going to speak your truth. You're standing in your power now. I feel like there's a potential for an argument or some sort of explosive debate, but regardless of what it is, you're going to be on top. This is 1010. So it's like you have the victory over something that was very toxic. Um, it could be communication, but I feel like you made a decision to put you in your needs first. So I feel someone may come around like, you know, just out of nowhere, you know, because tornadoes just come up out of nowhere. And so it just literally just develops before you know it. This damn thing is just ripping through, you know, towns and villages and cities and states, whatever. So this right here is showing me that someone really, you know, did a number on you. It was a very unexpected ending. It was a karmic lesson nonetheless, because I feel like you had to learn how to, you know, stand in your power and stand up for yourself. With this card, Nothing Like Loving You, playing by A. Marie, I feel like you realize that there's nothing, no, there's no one that's going to love this person the way that you love them or love these people, whether they were friends. And I feel like maybe someone's also coming into this grand epiphany, like there's nothing like loving you because you are rare or unique. Um, I feel like you're turning your back to this type of energy because you just realize it doesn't serve your greatest good. It doesn't serve your highest good. This 10 shows that it's an ending, necessary ending and a completion of a cycle, as I said. And in this new beginning, because every ending denotes a new beginning, you will be moving forward 
in a very positive um, you know, in a very positive way with the victories, the breakthroughs, with success in your scope. So that's very beautiful. And it's because you've, you know, literally like strategized, you know, you were strategizing. And when I see these archways, it tells me that you're an initiate. So you can be very intuitive. This 46 also reduces to 10. So I feel like you were very calculating um, and very strategic in breaking free from something that was keeping you stuck and stagnant. Um, from someone who was manipulating your energy, from someone who was being very deceptive, and someone ultimately who was very jealous, you know. And I feel like this person now realizes with this song, especially nothing like loving you, you know, that you are a miracle and that, you know, ultimately you deserve the best. Uh, or they're seeing that that's what you're coming to the realization of is that you're a miracle and you absolutely deserve the best, so you're not going to settle for less. So that's what they are um, really envious and jealous of because I feel like this person had control, you know, saying they were able to maintain some type of control over you. So let's go ahead. We're going to pull some messages from Kipper and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we got marriage. So some of y'all could be coming into a very spiritual union, divine union. And I definitely see here, my cards are all discombobulated, so I'm fixing them um, off screen because I didn't know why they're all upside down in this deck. I don't do upside down. So we have Nicole Busts, you. Yeah, so I do feel like some of y'all could be coming into a really beautiful union. So with to we got toil and labor, and then we have marriage. Yeah, so some of y'all, this could have been a marriage y'all was in. Some of y'all could have been in a very, um, very toxic, abusive relationship. And when I say abuse, I don't just mean like physical abuse. I feel like a lot of it was emotional, verbal even, I'm hearing. Psychological abuse, like just very um, toxic energy. Somebody just wanting to control, you know, wanting to control. But I feel somebody's in despair now because you're being blissed with gifts, rewards, wish fulfillment, miracles. This number 17 reduces to 8. So that's why I feel like there's some sort of wish fulfillment or there's something coming in. Maybe there's some communication coming in. But there's somebody coming in to gift you with something. Because the divine, as I said, whenever you see the world card, there's absolutely, um, you know, Things are going to start moving forward. You know, anything that was blocked or delayed is going to start coming in. You know, so it's like a new beginning. Look what came right back out. Marriage. So you all absolutely were in a one-sided relationship. Um, this marriage was very non-reciprocal. It was like one-sided. This person tried to rule with an iron fist. So they were overbearing. They were very controlling. They were very... Um, and that's why I was feeling like you were always on defense you know, like you always had to defend yourself or defend your position or defend something. You know, you didn't feel protected or safe in that connection or you didn't feel heard or even seen and appreciated because we see here, you know, that this person took you for granted, you know, and with you, I feel like this is speaking to you, whoever's listening, is that this person did not honor you or appreciate you. And I feel like you weren't communicating enough what you need. I, I feel like there was a lot of um, just kind of like appeasing to please, uh, going along to get along, just to keep everything peaceful. And that's what they banked on. They banked on the fact that they knew you were non-combative. You know, you didn't like to argue, you know, and this is from masculine or feminine, you know, so they would just be like, you know, they would take full advantage or take that for granted. Um, we see here now courtship. So this person could have been very sweet in the beginning, very loving, very charming, very caring, very attentive. And then you just saw them make a complete, you know, change. They just completely changed for the worse. And I feel like you also uh, came into balance with yourself also. Because this to me with that four is showing that you all gained a sense of stability. We are about to clarify the ancestors approve, they are pleased, along with appreciation. So this is not only saying that, you know, you are coming into some sort of balance um, with your masculine and feminine being, you know, balanced emotionally or even mentally. Um, but this is also saying now that you have found this balance, um, you now can attract someone who's going to come in 
who will appreciate you. And I feel like with the ancestors approved, they are pleased. I feel like the ancestors could be conspiring behind the scenes to bring this person to you, which is why ultimately the test was for you to walk away from something that did not honor you or respect you or treat you like the divine feminine, the divine masculine that you are. But if this is your situation where someone was very charming in the beginning and then they just made a complete change and they turned into a monster, I feel like by you walking away from that energy, you come back into balance. And then you also will have the divine. If you look, there's a Cupid's arrow kind of shooting down on the feminine energy. So feminines, there will be a masculine who will come in, who will appreciate you and love you. If this is masculines who are going to be courted, then you're going to have a divine feminine that's going to come in and court you and treat you right. We have Shea Butter Baby playing by Ari Lennox and J. Cole. So I do feel like, you know, this is going to be someone very sweet, um, very caring, very loving, very attentive. Um, I feel like they're just going to be very emotionally intelligent. Um, so let's see, why is the ancestors approved? They are pleased and appreciation here for our beloved collective. God, spirit of love and light. Why is the ancestors approved? They are pleased and the appreciation card for the collective. May I have a message of love and of light? Divine Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. And so we have false person. So you was definitely dealing with a false person, someone who was wearing a mask. And that's why the ancestors approve you walking away from that connection. Because obviously somebody who's wearing a mask doesn't know how to, appre to appreciate anything. Because their main game is to take, to steal, to, you know, manipulate, to gaslight, to dupe. You know, to play games, to be deceptive. Um, you know, they will also, you know, be very um, cunning and coy. So I feel like, you know, you weren't appreciated because you was dealing with a lot of fake, phony, snaky, fugazi type of energy. And so when you learn to love thyself, because remember that 15 puts you back into harmony. You know, this is about self-love. You got to love yourself. And so when you love yourself, you teach other people how to treat you. And I feel like by you making the decision to turn your back, because this is the way it was originally. When you made the decision to turn your back on this type of energy and focus on the self, to appreciate yourself, to appreciate and, and to practice healthy self-care, that's when you were able to break free because you, you broke free from the illusion, you know? broke free from the illusion and that's why the ancestors approve because you've turned your back on something that was not honoring your highest good or treating you in the way in which you deserve <clears throat> so let's see now we have main female so this again this could be you even if this is main female this is main male as well just it's just energy so now you have had a major change you have evolved, you have ascended, you've leveled up in terms of your consciousness. So you've tapped into Christ consciousness by trusting your intuition in matters where you can sense that you was dealing with something foo-foo, something fake and fugazi. So now your ancestors were assisting you and guiding you, telling you to love thyself, telling you to pay attention to the red flags. And that's exactly what you did. And you trusted your intuition and the spiritual guidance, the nudges all of the synchronicities that you were receiving. So divine spirit of love and light. And that's why you're going to be blessed and rewarded. So why is as the world turn and community here for our beloved collective, please? And now we have Rising to the Top by Kenny, um, Kenny Burke. So that's what you all are doing now. You're going to rise to the top. Why? Because you've completed a cycle. And look what you have, sudden wealth. So this is what I'm saying. You're going to be rewarded. And this is coming from the divine, especially with that 11. So it's like during the 11, 11 portal that just passed, this is what you all are waking, you know, walking into. You, you complete a cycle. Your ancestors assisted you and aided you, gave you the guidance, the spiritual guidance and the protection necessary. And now there is wish fulfillment. There's abundance. There's prosperity. There's opulence. There's expansion. There's new beginnings. There's a financial blessing that's coming in for you. And it's because you've successfully completed this karmic um, lesson. So you have a blessing coming in. Like I was saying, I felt wish fulfillment energy. But you've changed the circumstance and situation by changing your, re your reality or changing the way you perceived it. 
And now you're on this journey, you're embarking on a journey, you're walking away, you're moving away, you're just deciding to, to leave a situation or a scenario. This also could speak to someone wanting to come in, but I feel very strongly because we have this envy card that you've since removed yourself from a situation and you've left. That 10 would tell me that you've ended something because you realize you were a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. So when you turned your back and walked away from this envious, jealous ass person or jealous ass people or jealous ass you know employer that's when you started to realize opportunities opening up because that 10 reduces to one so that represents new beginnings new starts fresh starts you know new people attracting your soul tribe soul family real love true love so why is you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best here along with envy divine spirit for the collective why is you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best here thank you spirit message of concern see that so yes you was receiving a lot of um you know it was like you was constantly getting you know uh negative energy uh, you know thrown at you whether you was receiving like uh someone was harassing you online about your partner or maybe there was you know just some information you stumbled upon um because you was doing some investigation of your own and when you realized that someone was trying to play you um especially this person now because we see this envious person that's like you know that's someone who's very jealous you know someone who tries to you know this is a liar you know this person will lie say things that they know aren't true but it's only to get what they want but i feel like with this message of concern you discovered something something that was very challenging and with this 14 this reduces to five as well so whatever you realize um, you realize it wasn't going to work for you anymore. You realize that you have to love yourself first and foremost. And you also realized your worth and value, that you deserve better than that. Because you know you was giving better than that. And so we have risen to the top. So that ultimately, you know, whatever this, you know, very um, concerning information was, whatever that was, I feel like that was, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. And that's what led you to start seeing people for who they truly were. You know, how jealous they were and envious of you because you were rising, because you were growing and evolving and changing and shifting your consciousness. Um, people were really, you know, very envious and jealous of that. So I feel like when you gave somebody, um, you know, that notification, like, look, I'm moving, I'm relocating um, because, I'm, you know, this isn't working. Or I'm leaving. I feel like that's what drew a lot of concern. But we see here there's a courtship that's taking place. Um, someone's coming in, someone new is, is keeping their eye on you. I feel like somebody new is wanting to come into union or partner with you. This could be a business um, partner as well or a business relationship. Um, but there's like someone's, you know, because this courting card keeps showing up. And this four is literally like the vibration of 11. So that's like that 11, 11 energy to me. So that's kind of like a yin yang, twin flame, soulmate type of energy, a spiritual union. Um, you know, even a past life love, because I feel like there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of synergy, you know, and when you look at this Cupid's arrow, that angel would allude to the fact that you're being, uh, you know, being set up by the divine. The divine is connecting you. Um, maybe some of you are manifesting this love, manifesting love to come in, manifesting um, this courtship. Because I see, you know, what does their energy speak to your spirit? Um, and you also have the magician. So let's let's pick up on that energy. Maybe you've manifested someone after, you know, having, um, you know, this unsavory experience. Now you are utilizing your power that you have obtained by completing the cycle. Because this definitely, you'll graduate with honors. And the honors are, um, you know, owning your power, utilizing your power. And realizing that you can focus your intention to manifest what you desire. So maybe that's what you're doing here. But let's see. So um, we have Mystic playing by Prodigy, Rising Power King. So a lot of you are definitely tapping into your inner witch, your inner warlock, wizard, uh, your inner healer, um, shaman, light worker. Um, a lot of you are tapping into your magic, you know, utilizing your magic, utilizing your power to manifest something that you desire. So let's see, what does their energy speak to your spirit and magician? Why is that here for the collective divine spirit of love and light? Why is, what does their energy speak to your spirit and the magician here, divine spirit of love and light? Thank you. So we have message. So you're manifesting someone to communicate with you. So you're going to receive a message. And I feel like this message is from a secret admirer. This is someone that, like I was picking up, 
moments ago someone who could be very much um watching you from the the background you know come from behind the scenes and i feel like this is someone that the divine is kind of setting you up with i feel this is someone you're familiar with because i see that they're either penning you a letter calling you flat out or they may text you um but this is someone you've lost contact with maybe someone that you no longer are in communication with and i feel like maybe there was some um unfinished business between the two of you i feel the two of you communicate telepathically and i feel this is wish fulfillment this is something you've manifested prayed for wished for hoped for you've spoken daily affirmations mantras chants you've written in your manifestation journals i said generals journals you know calling in this particular person um maybe you already know who this is because this is someone that you know is your person i feel like you definitely are familiar with whoever this is and I feel like the connection between the two of you is very mystic it's very it's very uh, synergetic it's, it's deep connection a deep chemistry between the two of you you can feel their energy you love being around this person and I feel like like I said there was a lack of communication maybe the two of you parted ways lost contact because you was you know remarried or you got into it you know you were in a, a serious partnership or a committed relationship so it's like the two of you the timing wasn't right maybe you bumped into one another and exchanged numbers emails contact um you know but you all never communicated and maybe someone will finally use you know that number or that email so check your email i'm here and check your spam um you know what i'm saying Check your spam messages in your emails and answer some of those spam calls because maybe it's not going to be a spam call. It may very well be someone that you haven't heard from. But courtship is here. So someone's definitely uh, that's going to court you. This is someone very chivalrous, chivalrous, charming, you know, someone who is, you know, an alpha male, alpha female, someone who's definitely um, emotionally intelligent and attentive. Someone who's communicative as well, very stable, very um, sturdy. You know, you'll feel very protected in this person's presence. You know, this is definitely someone who's. Um, I just feel like this is divine. Like this is someone you could have, you know, even had a connection with in a past life. But we have a mellow role playing I and I. So yeah, this could be your person. So why is you uh, put you in your needs? First and foremost, and storm warning and victory here. So see that? This coffin is speaking to, you know, deading a situation. Completely ending something that did not honor you. That was always, you know, very, um, very challenging. Very biting. You know, argumentative. A lot of explosive arguments. A lot of, you know, um, lying and cheating. You didn't feel comfortable. You didn't feel safe. You always felt on edge. You always felt, like I said, on defense. This this coffin is definitely telling me that there's a death of something. You know, the death of a relationship. The death represents a new beginning, a rebirth, a reincarnating. So you definitely had a major transformation because you went from receiving nothing to now knowing your worth to now knowing to put yourself first, to now prioritizing your needs and wants over someone else. So you're putting an ending to this explosive relationship, you know, to this, you know, lack of love, tenderness, and care. And you're focused on your victory, on your breakthrough. So you're focused on I and I. I and I is like infinity. Um, so you're looking, you know, towards, you know, the infinite possibilities, infinite, you know, potential. And these are both reducing to 10. So that speaks to an ending. And the death card represents scorpionic energy. So some of my Scorpios listening and tuning in, definitely you've transformed, gone through major transformation, major shifts. I feel like also this could be alluding to the fact that your ancestors, some of your ancestors, you know, that have transcended maybe a mother, a father, grandmother, grandfather, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, cousin, you know, maybe a dear friend was kind of forewarning you, giving you, you know, some sort of um, download to protect yourself, to put your needs first. We see here mature woman. So you've definitely grown. You grew from a situation. You know, this is about 
growing pains. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And nothing ever dies. Energy doesn't die. What it does is it transmute. And Scorpios in particular control or they are the conduits of change. They know how to transmute negative energy. So I feel like you all could have Scorpio in your chart. So you're transmuting some sort of negative situation and turning it into something positive. So there's like transformation and you're transforming into someone who's well balanced in harmony. Because remember here, this is the same 15. That's six. And this is six. So you went from, you know, not really, not really fully showing yourself the love you needed because you was putting up with a, a, a lack of reciprocity in a relationship to actually transforming and doing a 180 to learning to not only appreciate yourself, but to value yourself, respect yourself, stand up for yourself. You know, that's what puts you into harmony. And you realize that you was dealing with someone who was fake and fugazi, someone that felt entitled, someone that was a leech, energy vampire, a snake, deceptive, someone who was putting the wool over your eyes. And I feel like that's what led to your maturation is the fact that you finally... You finally walked away. So why is this victory and put you in your needs first and foremost here for our beloved collective divine spirit? So there's a victory. So this is about you. You know, this house represents, you know, the physical house, uh, the physical house that you reside in, your avatar. So I feel like within yourself, you made some great changes. You made the necessary changes by healing, you know, past life traumas. You know, some of you all really uh, started to take it back to the root cause as I said to figure out why were you know you were accepting why were you so accepting of mistreatment you know um why were you allowing people to just take and not ever replace what they took because that ultimately left you emotionally bankrupt and even literal bankrupt you know somebody was just a user so I feel like when you changed and found balance within yourself your physical body within you by healing and addressing whatever you know, internal demons or childhood traumas or familial traumas or breaking generational curses. That's what led to the victory was you had to do the internal work, you know. So this house also is speaking to now you have peace and harmony within your home. There's no more of this fighting. There's no more of this challenge or this this constant um, conflict because you all have made necessary changes. And we see the main female. So this is you, whoever's tuning in, tapping in, main female, main male. Um, you have made these changes, these great strides, and that's why these great things are going to start taking place in your life. And it's because you all have changed, you know, internally, and that's going to now start um, resonating. Uh, or it's going to start, you know, emitting on the external. You know, your life will start to change because of the changes you make within yourself. So when you love thyself, you know, when you when you um, heal thyself, you love thyself. And when you love thyself, you begin to know thyself. So now you know what you what you um, will and will not put up with. Um, and I feel like you also will be, you know, in a, a, a union, a partnership. You will be planting seeds and roots and building a nucleus with a partner. And I feel this person um, and you will have a very, uh, very stable, very grounded, very... Um, a very solid connection with someone. But this is your reading. We have Sitting on Top of the World, playing by Brandy, featuring Mace. So you all will be feeling like you are on top of the world, and it's because you've definitely completed the cycle, and you've left the past alone, and now you're embracing the new, a lot of wish fulfillment, blessings coming in. You're going to receive a message from someone you hadn't heard from in a while. But this is your reading, beloved collective. Definitely um, open up to receive because you have some beautiful things coming in. Congratulations from cutting that karmic off. I want to send love and light. Peace.